Hey, this is a quick tutorial on how to make a dynamic chest in RPG Maker VX8. If you look at these chests, they all give different items. But they're all used in the same event. Let me just show you how you do that. If you have a look at the event commands, you can quickly pause it now if you like and copy it down if you already know how this works. If not, I'm going to run through it with you quickly. The way it works is like a dice roll. It rolls a dice, and whatever number's picked, it picks that item or reward or whatever it is you set to that number. Okay, let's delete these. Let's get rid of them. If we just quickly make a normal treasure chest, it doesn't matter what reward you give it. Just make the chest. And we want to go to page two first, just let's get that sorted. So, show tech. This is when the chest has been looted. So, the chest. The chest is empty. Put whatever you want in there. It's empty or it's already been looted. You want to make sure it's got directional fix so the graphics never changes. And self switch is on. That's on page two. Right, page one is where all the magic happens. You want to get rid of anything like this. Just have this the basic sound effect chest, the event move, and the soft switch. So what we want to do here, control variables. If you haven't set it already, set a variable to chest roll. If you have these in your game, it's going to change all the time. So it's very, very handy to have a chest roll variable. You want to set it to random, so it's literally going to pick one. You could have one to 100. You could have 100 different outcomes, but we're not going to do that many just for this. So if we just do 1 to 5, it's enough. So now you want conditional branch. So if the variable chest roll is equal to 1, then that happens, which makes sense. So I'll just copy paste them quickly. We need 5, because we've made it 1 to 5. Right, so that's number 1. That's 2. Okay, so let's, may as well start off basic with the sound effect. It's going to be an item, anything really, you can use anything. Yeah, that's all right. So we'll copy and paste that for each one, unless you want a different sound effect for a different item. We'll just quickly do five different things. So this one, you could change gold by ten. Next one, you could change gold by a hundred. No, nope, not zero, hundred. This one, change items of potion, just one potion. Okay. That one could be two potions. That one can be change weapons, let's say, to bag now, there you go. Show text. You receive bag now. Now if you know what it means, you should have both of them. You receive two potions. in your game. Ten. Okay, that all looks alright. So we've got 10 gold, 100 gold, 1 potion, 2 potions, and a weapon called Bacon. Okay, let's apply that. Let's just copy and paste the exact thing several times. So we can test it. Yep, save changes. So, Wagner. 100 gold. 
potions. Two potions. That works, which is good. And that that's all it is to it really. You may think it's a longer way of doing chests in the game. You may think, oh I've got to do that every time. But if you did ten variables, ten different things, you could have that exact ch chest played over for a good half of your game. And then as the game progresses, you'd have another tier of chests and you'd change the graphics. You could make them change the colours, different sizes as the game goes through, so you can start with a small one and go to the red. And different colours mean different things. You may have just weapons from the blue, just armour from the steel ones, just things like that. You can just play around with it how you like and see what's best for you. Okay, cheers for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Give us a like and comment if you've got any questions. Cheers for watching.